What's up, everybody? Our project, Fract, is designed to allow artists to create NFTs that react in real time to outside data from the real world, which we will pull by Oracle. So now anything that can be verified by an existing Oracle can be integrated into a work of art. You could have a horizon that shows a sunset or sunrise as the time changes, or a landscape that reacts to the weather in the part of the world where your art depicts. For our very simplified example, we'll use the Chainlink Oracle that tracks the price of crypto tokens and show a car driving into frame. As the price of the token goes up, the car will get closer to its destination. Next up is Exits. How's it going, guys? Uh, some of our obstacles with this project included getting Truffle up and running. And we also had a problem with uh, Link River. So none of their documents were up to date. So we had to communicate with the customer support to find our private addresses that we needed for our smart contracts for the AVAX implementations. Hello, guys. My name is Danny. And today I'll be talking about some of the technologies we use to um, bring our project back to life. So uh, the most important one I would say would be IPFS, which stands for Interplanetary File System, which was designed to approach file systems of file sharing in a peer-to-peer -peer format. Um, this makes it fa faster, more secure, and above all, more decentralized. Uh, some of the other technologies that we use was JavaScript. Um, JavaScript was used for the front end. Um, we're using Heroku to host our website, and we are using Node.js and to pretty much connect all the oracles which were acquired from Chainlink. Uh, now moving on, uh, Stereo can take it off and show you guys a demo. Hey guys, I'm Stereo, um, and I'm going to show you how the platform Fraxio works. And I'm going to start uploading a file to the IPFS, and I have to upload it. First I have to choose the file and then upload it. You won't see anything because we have a white background here, but as soon as you see this orange box, you can hit this little file button or, or, or clipboard button, and as soon as it turns green, you know you copied your IPFS link. Now that we have this inside here, I can name the layer. I'll just call it white BG because that's what it is. And if I hit the plus button, it'll show up on the media screen. And now we have this editor tool, and with the editor tool we can actually change almost every parameter we, we have. We can move it on the X and Y axis, scale it any size we want, and we can even change the transparency or opacity. We can rotate the object and, yeah, save it. Now you see these color tabs at the bottom. And every single color tab is one keyframe, so to say. And each keyframe stands for one position. And now what we have to do is uh, make every keyframe be at the right position. For that to happen, we have to go through every single frame for now. Soon we're going to solve this and have uh, a way to like copy information that's in one layer and paste it into the next layer by click but right now we're gonna have to go through every single keyframe and add the parameters that we want now that I'm done I can save it and import the next layer and at the end we're going to have something more like this, where we have multiple layers already fixed. And now we can just scroll through the layers and see what happens and what, at what position. And to show you why things start moving and how, how this works, we have an oracle that gives us a price feed of right now Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Link. And I can choose the Link price say at what price this position is supposed to be triggered this is the key trigger and i can choose what price is supposed to be the trigger from zero to wherever i hope you understood what this is all about i hope you can figure that what's possible with this tool and as you can see our fractional nft editor pi is the perfect platform for artists or any individuals looking to get started creating their first NFT layered art to be displayed on the Chainlink Oracle for purchase. Thank you so much, and if you have more questions, feel free to contact any of us.